Okay, so with the BP35 SR and HA, it does have two solar inputs. So what some people we've seen out there been doing is that they'll put one solar output string up to the roof on top of the caravan and the panels will be up there. And then secondly, they'll run a, either through an Anderson connector or similar, and they'll run that down to a portable set of panels, which people can move around outside to be able to catch the rays. Because you might have parked the caravan underneath a tree or something similar, and they've got the portable panels and they want to be able to move those around. Now, very important that they make sure that those panels are not regulated. And I know you've got to be careful there because I've got a set of those panels myself and they have got a solar regulator on the back of them. They've actually got two uh, Anderson connectors, one for regulated and unregulated. So if somebody's going to use external movable solar panels, make sure that they are not already regulated. Because if it's a regulated one, it'll be bringing the voltage down, right, to be able to go straight onto a battery terminal or something like that, uh, which is what a battery wants to see. Whereas this here needs 17, 17 and a half volts to actually be able to see the voltage and to be able to kick in as a normal solar regulator. So as I say, make sure those panels are unregulated and that way you'll, um, you'll be able to use the solar properly. So if you want to be able to use external panels and they already come with a solar regulator and someone's not comfortable rewiring them, that's okay. You can still wire them, but just wire them directly to the battery, but make sure that as we've mentioned before, you use a BC300 comlink to be able to send the information up here to the battery plus 35 because if you've got solar panels charging a battery down here and the BP35 can't see what's going on because it's not going through the system because this has got an internal shunt in it, if it can't see it, it can't report it accurately up on the Trek or up on the Odyssey screen. But if you've got a BC300 down there on the battery, sending that information up here to the um, BP35, then you'll be able to get that information. It'll blend that information and then display the accurate information up there on the Trek or the Odyssey.